Hello YouTubers, this is Rolando with uh, RC Tech Pro Flying and kind of wanted to go over the uh, battery arrangements that I've made with uh, the modification casing. Um, you see that they got the BNS and the old battery which uh, with the Solo of course obviously by taking it apart uh, a little challenging but uh, if you look at my other previous videos you'd see where I've uh, disassembled the battery and this is the out finishing touch one. I've decided not to uh, conceal the battery inside the casing and kind of mess around. What I like to do um, is be able to take a battery of any sort and stick it on the top of this Velcro and then strap it down with uh, these really nice uh, straps, these Apex. So I'll put all the uh, links to where you can get these on the bottom. Um, so what I've done in order for my arrangements to work is this so um, I've taken a um, um, this is a um, JST large plug JST large plug uh, and the way it comes in the package uh, it comes in a bundle like this where it has it coming in one piece and um, it looks like this it comes with two ends. Uh, they're both ends that uh, have both ends. And what I did was I cut one side and I can use it, but um, this is not how I did it. Okay, let's let's take a look. I bought a bunch of these because I wanted to make some other experiments with uh, some of my other batteries test. But here's what I've got. So buying this in the package, these JSTs, it came with... Uh, these ends here. Um, these are male ends and what you do with these are this is what goes on the outside of this case. So I, what I did was I, I cut a hole out for this just to fit inside this casing uh, and then I used some hot glue to be able to keep it in place. Um, what I connected to the other end that goes into the BMS was this is a micro JST plug which has uh, five wire connections and what I did was I soldered this connector to this JST that comes with the package of um, these here and I'll put a link below so you can see where I bought them. It comes like this and then it comes with these ends in the package that I purchased. So here's what I did. I soldered the ends onto this right here. Okay, They get soldered onto here in the proper location on the battery. And uh, this other end right here, the smaller end, goes on the BMS plug okay so you gotta be very careful when you connect this because if you have the wrong directions of the battery on the cells uh, it won't work so if you want to kind of follow my pattern and I'm just gonna name off the wires but um, this plug here you'll find that it only fits one way and usually you pay attention to the back you will have like two little raised notch is here that kind of plug into the BMS and the first wires that I have on this as it plugs in is blue, green, yellow, black and then red is obviously your power and your black is your ground so the way I have it plugged in on the other end is this plug as you notice this you notice the little notches on the bottom of the plug you'll see these notches they're gonna face downwards if you if the battery was setting like this this is facing downwards like this see these little notches right here you can see these two notches here so it's facing down the color of the pattern on the setup here is um, this is going from left from right to left all right so the first wire is going to be a red, a black, a yellow, a green, and a blue. Okay. 
that's the way I have this plug facing down that is direction now if you look at my other videos you're gonna know the uh, the actual uh, setup for the one cell two cell three cell and four cells on this plug alright you're gonna know that from the old battery from the solar battery you're gonna know that where the cells are located at so you can make a proper connection so if you follow what I have here you shouldn't go wrong with this you will find that of course obviously you have a temperature sensor inside this old battery when you disassemble your uh, other battery if you look at my other videos you'll see how I uh, opened it up um, and what I did was I kept the button in place so you can see the LEDs as they light up and as far as the XTX60 plug what I've done was I've also purchased which I'll put a link to where you can get these where I've actually got the battery is going to have these wires coming off of the BMS to the battery that belongs in the battery of the solo so what I did was I cut them and I soldered it in on here in the proper uh, direction for the polarities and this plug sticks out of the case I made a hole use hot glue so that this way the plug is sitting in the case on the X it'll point out exterior all right so after I've done that I've closed up the box and I can use hot glue I really didn't want to keep it closed because if I ever want to open it or change something or something happens to it I can at least open it up so I hot glued it and this is how it works on the solo so I take the solo and this should fit exactly the same way so once it's glued together it slips right right in place okay um, I've taken this battery which I've got from Hobby King and what this is um, it is a it's a 5200 multi-star high voltage battery Okay, high voltage. You will need a charger to charge up the high voltage because it goes up to about 17.4 volts. Um, so you're going to get 4.35 volts per cell. This is going to give you a longer flight time. Now with this battery, um, I have already flown and tested it several times and it was consistent um, with this. And this is, let me just go how I set it. This so I set this on the solo like that I plug in my battery like that and take in my balance plug and plug it in like this and I think this is already charged up so you're gonna get a full setup so it works okay um, I use the strap on here so that this way the battery does stay firm on the frame of the solo and so far with this solo this is my solo number three I've taken this strap it up like so okay now it stays on there firm remember I've got velcro underneath the bottom just for double security and this is one of these GoPro clones, I guess you want to call it. Very light battery, very light um, camera. And with this setup right here, I get about 19 to 20 minutes off of this battery. Okay. Um, on my other one, uh, Solo number two, this is the one with the gimbal. Okay, and I use the GoPro 4 Black on this. Do the same setup on this as I did with Solo number 3. And uh, plug it in there and I'll get 16 and a half minute flight time with the, uh, with the hardware on there. So that's not bad. Um, now one of the things you have to be aware of um, this is that the, the battery when you go to look the the BMS can only register remember at the most 17 volts usually it's about 16.8 on a normal charge 
but on 17 volts the percentage of the battery is not going to show the same um, reading what it's trying to say is this um, is that the when you're looking at your transmitter and you're looking at the percentage the transmitter percentage will not show you exactly what the uh, battery is left with. I always pay attention to the battery. So what will happen is I'll fly it till it gets about 8%, which in reality is actually the battery is a lot higher in voltage. I can get more flight time. So I've been flying it to about maybe 14 uh, volts to 14.10 volts, and it's been fine. So that's what I've been using with the high voltage because of the BMS was only designed for 16.8 volts. So far, it's been very successful and consistent uh, in every flight that I have had. Okay. So um, I was going to encase it, but I decided to change my mind and encasing it because I want to make it universal. So the, you know, the pleasure of having the battery mounted on the outside um, if it's more the aesthetics of looks, then obviously if you want to enclose it, that's up to you. Um, but the only thing going to be limited to battery. So I can take this battery on this one. I can plug this battery here and other batteries. So that's why I like it. It flies great. Uh, it does its job. I'm very pleased with the flight time and performance and the weight. Um, this battery is very light. Okay, another thing that I have done, and I, you can't really tell unless you have some type of battery alarm on it, but this particular battery that I got from Hobby King, this particular high voltage battery, which I love the size, um, you can see how small it is, this fits right in here. Nice, huh? So what I've done, and I've tested is, I've taken and use the, the, the bottom as your negative, Okay, so I've taken this right here, and the positive is the center of that. Your top is uh, your data connection uh, for your battery information. Okay, and then what you can do is you can plug this battery in here, and it can fit in here perfectly like this, and you can fly your solo. All right, so... Um, take it off because I have a gimbal you can't um, you it's not going to give you telemetry uh, back to the radio uh, so if you want to fly it that way um, and you know you're not going to fly a long period of time I would say put an alarm on there all you got to do is uh, on your balancing cable put an alarm that indicates battery per cell when it goes you know to a certain percentage or actually voltage on your battery cell then it'll give you an alarm so you can go ahead and land it it works fine um, um, I've tested it before it works great so this is very simple to make um, I took some connectors um, that were big enough I think the went to Home Depot and picked these uh, connectors up and soldered the ends on I used number 14 gauge wire to make it this is a uh, 14 gauge wire. Uh, I've got a red roll and a black roll. And I cut my ends. I got the, um, the TX60 connector on the end. This is a uh, male end, obviously, because this battery is a female end. And um, I soldered this and used some heat sink um, wire and um, actually coating and heated it up so it's basically very simple to make it's very cheap and it works it's effectively so if you want to fly that way and maybe you want to do uh, close photography um, aerial photography in a short range where you want to keep it within range this is a really nice setup here to do it this way I love it best battery so far I've found that would fit and it gives me great performance anyways if you have any questions uh, concerning this video or any questions on my setup, feel free to write to me. Let me know uh, your thoughts on it. And, and uh, subscribe, like, and I'm glad to be of any service to any of you guys. I know I've helped plenty of you guys out there. So, okay.